Katrina Law has been on a roll lately as she has joined the long-running CBS crime show NCIS as a regular cast member. The actress previously played supervillain Nissa Al Ghul on the CW series Arrow, and now she is back in a new horror movie. Want to know more about Katrina Law's new movie? Keep watching for all the details. Let's begin. First up, Katrina Law joins new horror movie as lead. Many NCIS fans probably know Katrina Law as a relative newcomer to the cast as special agent Jessica Knight, who recently joined the team. With just one season on her roster, the series is undergoing a major change as Mark Harmon exits the cast after playing the lead role for 18 seasons, but we're sure she'll continue to do well. If you are an Arrow fan, you probably also remember her as the enigmatic supervillainess Nisa Al Ghul, where she definitely made an impression. And now she will be making waves as a part of the cast of Year Two, an upcoming horror thriller film which features werewolves. The film comes as a series of successes for Law, as she bagged the role on the long-running NCIS and now will lead with Frank Grillo. The movie is said to feature a werewolf gene in humans going out of control due to a supermoon, leading to unforeseen disasters. Now Katrina Law will try to solve the problem as a genius scientist, Dr. Amy Chen, with the rest of them. Actress Katrina Law has also been on the series NCIS Hawaii and Magnum PI, and while she has enjoyed a successful career, this is her most notable role yet. Next, Katrina Law cast alongside Frank Grillo in new movie. The new film has been written by Matthew Kennedy and features a supermoon, which activates a latent werewolf gene among humans, causing a widespread disaster that causes them to turn into werewolves for a night whenever exposed to moonlight. Now, in a race against time, a team of scientists must figure out a solution before everything ends in disaster. The film's titular character will be played by Frank Grillo, who many might know from his role in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Civil War, and Adventures Endgame. He will play Wesley Marshall, the main character who's trying to save his family from the werewolves, and ends up crossing paths with and assisting Katrina Law's character, Dr. Amy Chen. Screen Daily described the film as one in which the events of the supermoon have caused over a billion deaths and continue to cause more every second. When Marshall's sister-in-law and niece gets attacked despite the heavily fortified house they're living in, he must find a cure or risk losing his family forever. The film will begin filming in May 2022 in Puerto Rico, although the series schedule is yet to be announced. And now a new horror thriller movie, Year Two, to star Law. Katrina Law has made an impression among viewers with her role on NCIS as one of the newest characters and gained a rapid fan following, and she continues her slew of notable roles as she takes on a horror genre movie as a genius scientist who will team up with Frank Grillo's character, Wesley Marshall to save the world. It sounds very superhero type, but is anything but with Stephen C. Miller at the helm. While Miller has been shifting to action movies, he still started out as a horror movie director, so expectations are high. Since the genre is also listed as a thriller, it'll be right in his lane. The film is making waves in the industry as a major investment as an Academy Award winning special effects team has been brought on board, including Alec Gills from Amalgamated Dynamics. Gills had a big hand in films from the Predator franchise, including Predator, Aliens, Aliens Resurrection, and Alien vs. Predator Requiem. With a stellar crew and a well-known cast, the film is expected to be a big success. Up next, a movie by Stephen C. Miller, Year Two, features werewolves. Stephen C. Miller is a well-known name among horror fans, having been the director behind the Silent Night and Deadly Night remakes. The director gained even more fame when he shifted to action, releasing Automaton Transfusion, which instantly ended up becoming a cult classic and catapulted him to movies like Line of Duty and Escape Plan 2, Hades. Bottom line, Miller has established himself as a prominent action director. With his previous experience in horror, Year Two seems to be a movie meant for him. Not to mention the extremely high-profile crew, including the writer of the film being Mark Kennedy, the mind behind Inheritance, and Alec Gills, the special effects person behind the iconic Predator franchise. And with Frank Grillo and Katrina Law on board as the main cast, both of whom have experience in high adrenaline projects from superheroes to police procedural dramas, there is sure to be a wonderful synergy. The two star as West Wesley Marshall and scientist Dr. Amy Chen respectively as they team up to save the world and find a cure for the lycanthropic disease that has grasped the world. Working against a ticking clock, the fate of everything lies in their hands. While filming is set to begin soon, there has been no official announcement on when we can expect the movie to be released. It's likely to be sometime in 2024. Now in other news, NCIS's Katrina
Katrina Law says there is a big surprise waiting in season 19 finale. NCIS has long held the crown for CBS's longest running primetime series and has been a major help in helping them stay the most watched network for a total of 19 years in the past two decades. While there have been several cast changes over the years, the season 18 newcomer quickly became a favorite among fans for her role as special agent Jessica Knight. Now with the departure of Mark Harmon, who played the titular Leroy Gibbs, the series is on a quest to prove that it can go on without the face of the show, who continues overseeing things as an executive producer. And since this is their first season without him, it's natural that the season needs to end with a resounding bang to make sure a renewal is in the bag. As such, Katrina Law has promised a big, huge surprise ending as the season approaches its final episodes with new team leader, former FBI agent Alden Parker in big trouble after being framed for murder and the team in a race against time to find the culprit, who specifically wants Parker disgraced. Stephen Amell says he's open to taking up his character again. The CW experienced the start of a major era around a decade ago when they started the series Arrow, meant to be a clean and fresh start on the DC Comics heroes. It resulted in eight seasons of a beloved show which was nominated for and won several awards, also spawning many spin-offs. So many that the network established the Arrowverse as the hero, which did not usually get as much public attention as the other non-superpower hero Batman ended up becoming an iconic hit. And the one who brought the Green Arrow to life was none other than Stephen Amell, who stayed on till the end, seeing his story be nicely wrapped up in season 7 and featuring his children in season 8. When asked about his time on the series, the actor had nothing but good things to say. He admitted that he he greatly appreciated developer and executive producer Greg Berlanti for allowing him to sit down and discuss how his story would end and that it was rare for actors to be given this sort of chance. He admitted that he felt that Oliver Queen's story hadn't ended, looking back on his time fondly and expressing gratitude to DC, Warner Brothers, and the CW. On whether he would ever return, he said, never say never, as anything was possible. Austin Butler joins Tom Hanks on the set of Baz Elvis Luhrmann's Elvis. You might know him from his time as a sort of of Disney star, or Arrow fans might remember him as Chase, a DJ at the Club Verdant in Season 3, who is actually an assassin sent by the League of Assassins to murder Oliver Queen's little sister, Thea Queen. While the actor has had several roles on many shows, including Switched at Birth, this will probably be his biggest movie yet, as he will be playing the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley, in the new movie Elvis by Baz Luhrmann. In case you do not know, Luhrmann is the director behind the iconic The Great Gatsby movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, so naturally this is a big deal. The movie comes after a slew of popular biopics like Bohemian Rhapsody on Queen and Rocket Man on Elton John, showcasing the king's rise to international fame at the peak of his illustrious career and his complex relationship with manager Colonel Tom Parker, played by none other than Academy Award and Emmy winner Tom Hanks. The film also stars Olivia de Jong as Elvis's wife Priscilla Presley, giving an intricate look into the manager and star's relationship over the course of 20 years. That's a wrap for this video. Will you be tuning in to Katrina Law's new movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.